Hey guys, how you doing? Today is Thursday, August 16th. How are you? We're tired. <laughs> we just got back from Halifax. Before we left for Halifax, I had a wicked sore throat and it's coming back again now that we're back. It's starting to hurt again. We have really bad air quality right now because there's forest fires. We had an amazing time. Dad did excellent. I mean, the man was paddle boarding and riding a bike and just being general, um, Superman the whole time he crashed today he was so tired because we had to get up and leave for the airport at quarter after three in the morning I don't know how he did that without going back to bed when they got home from the airport he said he's he's feeling a little bit better still has a bit of a headache but he got some rest and he slept for like 14 hours so I think he's feeling a little bit better we're in a kerfuffle with Bryn going off to university because she still doesn't have a dorm room room yet and there's a housing crisis up in BC I guess UBC has a thousand students that don't have places to live yet. And what happens is the apartments are so expensive in BC. It's the same here. It's so expensive that a lot of students, instead of having an apartment, have to go in the dorms because it's that much cheaper and there's just not enough dorms to go around. So she's on this waiting list for Simon Fraser. The waiting list, she's been fluctuating between 78 and 73 on this waiting list and as of yesterday they put they made the waiting list go away and now it's like an urgent waiting list and if they contact you with a possible dorm you have to answer within 24 hours and throw down all the money for the um for the deposit so uh yeah so we're just having her check emails every four hours so we don't miss out on this opportunity and we're having our fingers crossed because we don't know when they got rid of the waiting list yesterday when she was at um, number 73 had she moved in the past week on the waiting list because it was supposed to change last week so we don't know what's going on and we're not ready to put the kid in an apartment and we thought we were <laughs> and really not so we're still ha we still have our fingers crossed for a dorm we're gonna see what happens with that so I've been really stressed out and I was stressed out when we were home and I've been feeling really dizzy and I think instead of, I usually have stomach issues, <laughs> I think this time it's coming out in my head and I've been really woozy and dizzy and I think it's just the stress of this whole thing because it's stressful enough that she's leaving and now it's stressful enough that uh, she might not be leaving because if we can't get her in a dorm she might hold off and try again in January so there's just so much going on and then I got an email from work they've hired a new teacher so I have no idea who this person's gonna be and and um, we get to meet her in a couple weeks right before school starts but I not might not be able to meet her if we're driving Bryn up to university oh there's a lot going on my alarm is coming on. You know when a Disney movie starts <laughs> and they show the castle? Yeah, that's my alarm on my phone. It makes my day magical. Just did a sketch and it's this one. Scott and I are going on a spy mission. I don't know if you saw that long enough. We're going on a spy mission tonight. What it is? We're doing some spy work for the hotel because there's some other hotels in the city that have different rates and different things that they offer. So Scott and some other co-workers of his have gone around the city and picked hotels to go stay at. So that's what we're getting ready to go do. So he's already at work. Um, I've just packed a bag and I gotta go get changed because <laughs> I'm gonna roll up in this. Cool. I'm gonna like, find the room. Cool, huh? This is nice. <laughs> this is one of the largest green, <laughs> green roofs downtown Seattle. Yeah, yeah, we have had no rain. <laughs> it retains up to 75% of rainwater. Or not.
So Scott's very excited about the Bluetooth capabilities of the alarm clock. So he's got his Friday night playlist going. And it's 4.30 and dinner's when? 7? We have reservations at 7, but we're going to go to this place called Spin. It's a ping pong place. Somewhere nearby. So we're going to go to that in a little bit. Okay. Just going to listen to John Denver for a while. So this place is called Spin. Apparently they're all over the place. And you get bar service, food service, you get a bucket of balls. And if the ball goes away, you don't have to go get it. They'll just clear them up at the end of the night. And it's a neat like, atmosphere. The artwork's really cool. It's like places to sit. So this is our little designated bar area. I ordered some kind of drink. I don't know what the hell it is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. So I got some kind of drink, I don't know what it is. I forget what the drink was. Do you have the thing there? We have some fries, some chicken. The guy who worked, that Scott works with is going to have his wedding reception here. It'll be so much fun. Well, you can actually get like ping pong paddles and stuff. Are you allowed in the tub? I don't think you're allowed in the tub, no. <laughs> Do they think they put a big tub of ping pong balls here and nobody gets in? Jump in there. That's no, you can't go in. Can you take one? Sure. Watch <laughs> the door not do I know. You can't take that ball. <laughs> We're now in the little restaurant. It's called Urbane? Urban? Ur Baney. <laughs> so I got the tomato this. Scott got some pork belly. So I have my steak with some green goo on it. A real salad and fries and stuff like that. Oh, oh filet. <laughs> Broccolini. Good morning, guys. Today is Sunday, August 19th. Last night, we found out... Um, that Bryn got accepted to residence at SFU. We've been waiting. She's been on a waiting list since like March or April or something. So they sent out an urgent list last week and she has a dorm. Problem is we did a lot of banking when we were in Halifax because we had to get her set up with a bank card and a whole bunch of other stuff. Find out last night, the bank card was never activated and her she doesn't have a pin or the pin doesn't work or something. So she basically got kicked out of the bank machine and her bank in Canada, obviously there isn't one down here in the States. So now we're doing a road trip to Vancouver <laughs> today because if she doesn't finalize all her dorm stuff by tomorrow, she loses her spot. She loses the dorm. Scott has to work today because the weekends have been very busy at the hotel. So today's Sunday. He has to work. So we are about to drive him to the bus stop so he can get to the city. And Bryn and I are driving to Vancouver. Kerrigan is smart and is staying home during all this craziness. So we will let Daddy sit in the front, huh? He told me to sit in the front. Oh, did he? Oh, okay. Do you want to sit in the front? Well, I guess we got to drop him. All right, off we go. Canada's calling me. Why is Canada calling you? <laughs> That's so sketchy. Do I answer? So we made it. We're alive. We're sitting outside the bank. We are a few minutes early. We got here about 20 minutes before it opened. So we're just hanging out. Nothing better to do on a Sunday. <laughs> so her pin on her bank card didn't work. And then we don't think it ever got set up when we were in Halifax. Anyway. So we'll get that sorted and then we got to get them to cut us a check for her residence and her food. Um, first year students are put on a food plan and um, so we got we to gotta pay all that because it's all due tomorrow. So it's good that we did this today and I'm so proud of myself for staying awake. We still have to get home but um, at least we got this far. So we have to finish up here at the bank and then head to the university. And then we're talking about Cali Burger. Bryn has been raving about mm -hmm. Cali Burger. 
and there's one on campus. So we might get that to go. My stomach is growling already. We might uh, get that to go. So it's about almost 5 to 11 right now, I think. The bank opens at yeah. 11. So there's actually <clears throat> people here waiting to go in. We gotta rush the door, man. Get in there and get this done. <laughs> All right, we'll update you later. So we're just kind of in the middle of this place. It's huge. So we're just gonna kind of take a quick look before we head back and get something to eat. And um, I just wanna help her figure out where some of her classes are, just so it's not completely overwhelming. It's one thing to be here, just the two of us, but it's gonna be a little different next week when everyone's lost. <laughs> there was something going above us and it was a cart, but it sounded like the drumming in Jumanji. <laughs> so Ben's a little freaked out. <laughs> and she's gonna be here by herself. They're building a whole student union building, I think. Oh my God, it still goes way down that way. This is just one of the buildings that we're in. Oh, they do First Nation studies down this end. Ooh. You're gonna get your exercise, that's for sure. It's all very nice. Oh, look at that, Bryn. It's the Museum of Archaeology. Oh, you could be Indiana Jones. So here's the campus. We are here. We're parked over here. There's Terry Fox Field. And so she has classes up in around here. And then there's greenhouses. There's a bee research place. These are like aquatic studies. And this is like the key. Oh, it is. But for the most part, you can walk like inside these buildings, which is nice. Ugh. Is there? Okay, that's where we're that's where we are right now. So this is one of her classrooms. Awesome. Some tutorial. But you see what I mean? Like the, everyone does a lecture at one time. Yeah. And we come here just like separately. Okay. We found the lecture hall. Cool. I'm sitting right there. <laughs> that's Prince. <laughs> So lots of places to sit. This will be Bryn's chair. <laughs> so the campus is very nice. It's very big. <laughs> a lot of walking. But I think you're gonna be happy. Mm -hmm. Excited? Mm -hmm. Hungry. This is Bryn excited. <laughs> she's, she's not one to jump up and down. Um, <laughs> like we were last night when we found out she got the residence. Thank God. It's um, It's still pretty cloudy because of the forest fires around here so you can't really see too much of the view. Uh, this is the start of like all the shops and stuff up on the street. This is a little fountain area so we're gonna go to Cali Burger get something to eat and hit the road. Oh so it's 10 after 6 at like supper time. It's been um, a 10 hour day. I'm still awake. I can't believe I managed to drive up to Vancouver and back. I'm so proud of myself. We're feeling tired, but uh, we did it. We made it. And Bryn now has her room. We went around the campus and looked around, and she knows roughly where her classes are. And yeah, I think we accomplished a lot. It was good. So thanks for coming with us for our little impromptu trip up to Canada. And um, yeah, all right. Morning guys, how you doing? Today is Monday, August 20th. Britt and I made our trip up to Vancouver yesterday, which was great. The reason it was such a big deal for me is because I always fall asleep in the car. It was a big deal because it's a, a three hour drive up to Simon Fraser, and then we had to drive around while we were up there and then three hours back. So that was a huge accomplishment and I feel really good about it because I know that she's only three hours away from us, but yet I can do the drive. I don't think I'd want to do it alone, um, her and I talked the whole way and we sang songs. I was like screaming One Direction songs on the way back just to stay awake for the last little bit. At least I know I can, you know, throw Kerrigan in the car and we could just go. 
and and get her if we need to. So I think for the most part, if she comes back to visit, um, we're just going to put her on the train. It's like 40 bucks and it's just so much easier because now that she has the dorm, she needs a couple things. So yesterday we were waiting for an hour in the lineup at the customs to come back. Uh, she made a list. So she made a list of wants and a list of needs and a list of things she already has. And then Friday is Scott's and my wedding anniversary, 22 years. And we're going to this thing for, um, it's with hotel people and it's a thing called Grapes on the Green. It's for Virginia Mason. It's like, it's, um, like doctors in Seattle and is a quad stop. 29th, we have to drive Bryn up to Vancouver again. And this time we drop her off. So what we're doing is move in day for all the students is the 29th. So we're gonna drive up early that day and move her in. Then Scott and Kerrigan and I are gonna go stay at the hotel. So she's a little bummed about that. And we're like, well, no, but you, <laughs> we're paying for you to live in residence. So you gotta go stay in the residence. We're gonna go up on the day that she moves in and get her moved in, leave her there for the night. We're gonna go to the hotel and then we drive away. It's gonna be hard. We're a very close family, the four of us. Scott always says it's the four of us against the world and it's, it's always felt like that because um, we move a lot and we always have to get set up again and we only know each other. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's, it's just always the four of us. We do everything together. So it's gonna be weird. Um, <clears throat> we do have a trip scheduled up there in two weeks and, um, so we'll get to see her. Um, today is Wednesday, August 22nd and I have to go to work. <laughs> I have to do a course called Right Response and it helps us to deal with kids that we work with that might be a little extra um, in the behavior department and it's a two-day course so I'm there today from 8 to 4 and tomorrow from 8 to 4. <laughs> I've been out with the girls the past couple days getting some stuff for Bryn's dorm and trying to get her set up because we take her next Wednesday. <laughs> Went to Ikea yesterday and um, I bought frames because I have the print that I got in Halifax and I have some other prints that I bought at Comic-Con like a year ago. This one is the one that I got in Peggy's Cove in Nova Scotia. So that one should fit. It should be fine. It's not going to have, um, I'm not going to need the mat in the frame because it already has a mat. That's going to fit in there nicely and that's going to go on my wall. This is a sketch that a guy had done for Kerrigan. So that could fit. He actually did two sketches. And I like this one. It's supposed to be Kerrigan up in a hot air balloon. So I'm going to put that one in a frame. That'll work. Eh, it's still a little small. And then I bought this thing. Now I had one of these for years and I got rid of it. Uh, I think I got rid of it in Florida or Bermuda. And then I was like, I want that thing back. It's a little paper holder. It's right down there. And it's called Mala, M-A-L-A, -A. Mala, I don't know. But I thought it'd be cool on the side of my desk. And then when I'm working on something or I'm filming a video, I can roll the paper out. I can draw on the paper. I can do little scribbles on the paper. I can test a marker on the paper and stuff like that. So I thought that was really cool. I almost bought one when we were in Halifax, but they were $12.99 there and they're $7.99 here. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna wait. And plus, how was I getting that back in a carry-on? The other thing I'm trying to do, I bought two pairs of jeans yesterday at Target. One of them was marked down to $20, which was great. And another pair was on a sale rack for $8.38. So for 30 bucks, I got two pairs of jeans yesterday, which was nice. And they're a dark uh, blue. And what I'm trying to do is kind of a capsule wardrobe. I'm trying to keep um, my wardrobe very simple and I want to buy, yes, I did get some jeans and they're cheap, <laughs> but I do want to buy some nicer pieces and have a few pieces of clothes, but have, um, like better quality clothes. So that's my goal this year. A friend of mine that I work with, I'm going to her house on Friday just for tea. We haven't seen each other all summer and she invited me over for tea. She, um, was in fashion design and she looks put together 
every day. I've never seen this woman with a hair out of place or an outfit that was sloppy. It's like, unbelievable. I went to school one day. I have like a gray plaid shirt. I wore it untucked with jeans and she walked in with a long sleeve shirt. Hers was tucked in because of course she's this big and she had a belt and it looked fabulous. And I was like, oh my God, you look like you came from a runway. I look like a farmer. <laughs> it was like, she's like, you don't look like a farmer, Tanya. But I did like I just can't get my look together and I'm frustrated because I've got weight back on and I know I need to go back and walk so my goal when I go shopping now is not to just like ooh, that's on sale and oh look I can get ten tops for the price of one I don't want to do that because I end up with shirts this one's actually okay but all my other shirts that I always tell you guys that have holes in them it's because I'm buying cheap crap cotton I'm gonna play on the computer for a few minutes until it's absolutely time to go. Um, and then I'm gonna go to my course. Good times, I can't wait. No, it'll be good. It'll just get me back in my routine. So I have to go today and tomorrow, and then next week I'm gonna go meet my new boss and uh, get to see her, so that'll be good. And then um, the next day we take Bryn up to university and just drop my child off somewhere. <sighs> and then the following week I'm back to work, so. It's all good. Summer's coming to an end. Hi. So today is August 24th, otherwise known as um, mine and Scott's wedding anniversary. Uh, it's 22 years today. How fun is that? <laughs> we are uh, going to a thing tonight. This is what I'm wearing. <gasps> Don't fall over. Uh, it's this blue top. It's like longer on one side and the capris and then everybody else walk around heels it's going to be awfully jealous of my nautical flip-flops so i have blue um heels that match this pretty much perfectly before we went to halifax we had a wedding to go to and i wore this to the wedding as well and uh i wore the heels with it but by the end of the night i couldn't walk so tonight you know what i'm playing it smart I'm wearing these and I'm having a vegetarian meal because last time we went to this function, I had the beef. It was raw. Like, I think the animal was still screaming in the other room um, to have the part of his arse put back on. This was the meat last time. Oh, oh here's my shoes. <laughs> they're still in here from the last time I wore them. They're, uh, they're the blue. Okay, they might not be the exact. They're pretty darn close. The lighting's hitting them a little weird. But um, yeah, wow, those have been there <laughs> for a few weeks. Because uh, we had the wedding the night before we flew to Halifax. So yeah, there was not a lot of time to put things away. Well, I suppose I could have just <laughs> carried them upstairs and put them in my closet, but I didn't. I think you order a box of one. No, no, it was like a little tiny box on your seat. Morning guys, today is the 25th of August. It's a Saturday. I love going out on a Friday night. We went to the um, Grapes on the Green thing last night and uh, it was very nice. We had a lot of wine on our table. That's what happens when you go out with food and beverage people. Just put together my whatever you call that and it looks like this and it's very cool and there's two trays at the bottom which can come out this one is on this side and they just slide in and out so this one has little grooves you can put pencils this one does not have the grooves but it again it's like a little tray and then you have your roll of paper and it goes like this and then if you want to tear a piece off which i do want to do with this one I can't hold it and show it. You just push down on this. This totally comes out as well, so you can switch the paper. And then to put the new roll on, you just pull the, like, the... It's like a toilet paper roll, you know what I mean? Like you take the little 
bar out like that. And that totally comes out and then you just replace the roll. And the rolls of paper here are $4.99, I think. And you get a big roll of paper. You just put this down like this. And then you just apply pressure to that thing. And then it'll rip the paper off. Hang on. Not always too much, but it's like ripped where the, uh, the sticker was for the paper. And you just do like that. Like that, and you rip off a piece of paper. So it's brilliant. So I want to have this over on the side of my desk, and then I can roll out um, paper, and I can work on it on my desk, and I can scribble and all that kind of stuff. So this is enjoyable. Okay, I'm still working in my craft room, but I got my Peggy's Cove picture up top there, and then I ended up framing the Tweety Bird um, costume that uh, Mom had made me, and she made one for her and one for me, but it turned out really cute. So um, I framed the pattern. Scott wasn't a fan of the the sketch, that one, the pencil sketch that that artist had done. So um, yeah, he thinks that's weird too, but anyway, I think it's cute. <laughs>